Okay, now that's a little bit loud. That's okay. I want to turn that down. Oh, uh, yeah, I can just do that. Alrighty. Alrighty, boys. <clears throat> okay. Alright. How do we start this off? Do they need to call this scores? Is that what it's called? Scores.java, okay. <clears throat> Alright, guys. Hold on. Okay. For real now. Ooh. Hello, everybody. Uh, this is Joe, and today we're going to be doing some uh, score. We're doing arrays in Java. Oh shit, that's not the right one. Okay, okay, let's let's restart. <clears throat> okay. Hello everybody, today we're doing arrays in Java. Uh, we're gonna be going through a certain exercise, uh, learning <clears throat> how to use arrays. Uh, this is this is for my my girlfriend's taking a Java class currently, and the instructions that are given with her homework are really not that great, and so I wanted to take the time to go through it and explain everything. And uh, this is the end product right here. And uh, if we can bring this up, so the idea here is that. You will have this whole thing, and you'll be prompted to enter a name, and we'll enter, let's say, Matthew, let's say, Elizabeth, and Mary, alright, and now it prompts you to enter in test scores for Matthew. And so he got an 89, and Elizabeth got a 95, and Mary got a 78. She didn't do that well. Next thing is that it prints the following data, uh, given the name, uh, the score, uh, in this specific format so that it's all nice and neat. And then it'll ask you for extra credit scores. Now, what you're going to go ahead and do is... Uh, so. This is where it gets really complicated and very confusing. Uh, we're going to go ahead and say Matthew had two extra credit scores, and then it'll prompt you again to enter extra credit scores for Matthew, and it'll ask for our first score, and we'll give him a 9, and his second score, and we'll give him an 8. And because you asked for, or because you, it, when it asked you how many extra credit scores for Matthew, you entered two, you, it only prompts you to fill in scores for two. Now, for Elizabeth, let's say she had one and she got a three on it. And same thing, same concept for Mary. We'll say she had a four. Uh, sorry, she had four. And uh, her scores were nine, eight, eight, and nine. And then after that, it shows you the total scores and it prints out the average of all the scores. Uh, to two decimal places. Now, that that's basically what we're going to be building right now. And uh, I'm going to go into uh, detail about the process of building this entire code. And uh, so let's uh, let's go ahead and get started. Oops. Oh my god. There we go. Alright, and uh, <laughs> go ahead and uh, ignore this for now. Array time, yeah. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and ignore this for now. And we're going to go ahead and create a new... Uh, 
uh, project, Java project. We'll call this arrays. <clears throat> and of course, be sure to uh, make your projects. Uh, I guess you can make your projects whatever you want, but the uh, the specific class name. Whatever they want to specify it, this one, for this instance, is scores. So we're going to call it scores. That is the package. That is not the... Okay. And so we're going to create our class scores here. And the first couple of things that we're going to do are... <clears throat> first off, make our... Uh, our our main void or our main main method so we're gonna go public static void main and attach an array of strings and arguments and boom all right <clears throat> so uh, we're going to do that, and then we're also going to create a scanner object, and we're going to call it static scanner equals scanner, and we're going to use, oops, sorry, new scanner, it's going to be system.in. And uh, a quick hack to uh, be able to add all the imports that you're missing all at once. You can just hit Control shift o Control shift o Really? Oh, yeah, that's why. Scanner, scanner equals new scanner. Yes. Boom. Okay, yeah. Now let's control shift O. All right, there you go. Yes. So, once you've created your scanner object the correct way and capitalized it where it needs to be capitalized, uh, we're going to go ahead and create the arrays that we're going to be using. And they're all going to be static. And our first is going to be an array of integers. And, uh,. We're going to call it scores. And so basically you can think of arrays as groups of numbers. So <clears throat> for example here, uh, we're not initializing any of these right now. But if you were to set it equal to something, you could set scores equal to 1, 2, 3. And okay. And then we can go here and dot print line print scores. I don't think this is going to work actually now that I'm thinking about it. I think it's going to print, yeah, the code that is uh, scores. So actually just for example to print this out we're going to go make a for loop. And go i equals zero, integer i equals zero, and i is less than two, and i is gonna add one. And let's say scores i. And then if this is right, then I will go ahead and explain it. Okay, and that can actually be three. Perfect. Okay, so. Uh, basically, we've created our static integer array called scores. And we uh, initialized it to be equal to one, two, three. And now in our main class, we've created a for loop where we go uh, from zero to three. <clears throat> and we we count from 0 to 3 and in our array we print out scores but we index the array so i 
You could replace i with a number. i, the, uh, the variable here, i, that is telling you where in the position you're looking at. So, if you were to put a 1 in here for scores, or for i, excuse me, then you'd pull the 1 here. And so if we go ahead and run this again... Oh, sorry. Okay. Second thing. Um, <laughs> okay. The uh, array names things based off of 0. So the first number... The first number here is going to be 0 of the array index. The next one here is going to be 1. And the next one here is going to be 2. So us printing out scores 1 means that we're taking the second one, second number of the array of the array of scores, the array of integers of scores. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> so so let's say let's say we're actually trying to go for the one here and it's printing it three times at the bottom because we're still going through the whole for loop thing. And boom, three ones. Perfect. Exactly what we expected. Alright, and that's that's the basis to arrays. Now you can also do this for a two by two array, which is gonna be the uh, next array that we're gonna do. It's gonna be another static integer array of integers and to make it a, a 2d array you simply add another uh, set of square brackets to it and we're gonna call this one extra credit and we're gonna also create a static s t a t i c oh my god string called names and we're going to go ahead and not initialize these. And so as you might think, an array of, or a, a 2D array is an array of rows, not just rows, but also columns. And as I showed before, with, uh, with, uh, with going and saying, uh, out dot print line. As, as I showed before with uh, taking like the array scores and putting square brackets and saying the number that you want to take from that, with a 2D array, you add another one to it, and then so if you wanted to hit the one, the very first uh, number in the upper left corner of let's say like a 3x3 three three array, you'd hit uh, 0, 0. And then that would index the very first initial position. And for example, if you wanted to hit, uh, if it's still a three by three array, uh, and you wanted to hit the one in the very middle of that, that would be one, one in that case. And this is all just your way of indexing your way around the array. <clears throat> all right, so. We've got some more stuff to uh, create here. Uh, we're going to create a couple of floats, uh, all static and all floats, and they're going to be called extra credit total. And we're, we are going to initialize these and set them all equal to zero. We're going to create another one called average. I can spell it right. Oop. Okay, and static float uh, count. Actually, we're gonna make count an integer. <clears throat> I'm not gonna go over data types here, uh, since you should already know about the uh, different types of. Uh, data types if you're going in, into arrays right now. I'm also not going to go over for loops or any other types of loops, but we're only you're only going to need to know how to use for loops and 
it, it will be explained fairly decently. So, um, we're going to start off here in our main void. Our, 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 our main void. Our main uh, method. <clears throat> we're going to start off here in our main method. And we're going to first initialize our our arrays for names and our arrays for scores. And both of these are meant to be three. So we're going to initialize scores by saying scores is equal to new integer three. If I can put it in the right brackets. Okay, there we go. <laughs> So, <clears throat> as I showed before, uh, you can you can make a, an array a bunch of different ways, and one of them is like you can <sighs> let's say let's say you came here and you put three. Actually, well, okay, so you'd still have to in initialize it the same way with new int. This is just initializing the array and saying, so for scores, we're initializing it so that there are three spots within the array. Three places to put numbers. Uh, exactly the same as what I what we had before when I set the array scores equal to uh, 1, 2, 3. There's still those three spaces, we just haven't defined what is in those spaces yet. And we're going to go ahead and do the same thing with names. And because it's a different data type, we're going to say string. Because we want to fill this array with strings instead of integers. And we're going to call the... Or, and this one's also going to be of 3 in length. Alright, and uh, the next thing that we have to do is... Uh, just print out uh, the basic stuff that came at the very uh, front of the uh, the program, and so we're gonna go system out print line, and we're gonna do a lot of these statements. And uh, so the title of this we want to put it in the middle. So we're gonna tab it over by using slash t and say call it the student grading system grade system. And another system print line. And this one is going to be, this one's going to say, actually, we're going to leave this one blank and we're going to add another one in for, uh, for the sake of having everything look pretty. And this one's going to say, uh, this score, this program will score students uh, hold on, sorry. Back at the, uh, the output of what the output's supposed to look like. Alright, uh, this one's gonna say, so, this program will store students' grades and look them up for you. S-T-U-D-E-N-T-S. Okay. Alright. And we'll add some more padding in here. And take that line. And we're gonna go and it requires us to add some lines of stars here so we're gonna add in a bunch of stars and we're gonna add in a bunch of stars below and have it be about the same amount actually exactly the same amount um, and then we're gonna tab this over again three times because we want it to also be in the middle and this is going to say enter names. One name per line. All right. And 
We'll add some more padding to the end of this. And then we're going to get started on our first for loop. Alright, now, this for loop is going to take in uh, input into the console, and it is going to take that and put it into the array, depending on the, uh, the index that it's on of the array. So we're going to make a for loop here. And it's going to be integer i equals zero. Uh, as long as i is less than scores dot length i plus plus. We add one to i. Now, so scores dot length is another function of uh, using arrays that you can do. And so, since we defined our array length up here to be three. Our length is now 3, so this loop is going to keep going until scores is out of spots to put us in. So we're not going to end up uh, trying to add in more stuff into scores when there aren't more places to put things in scores. And so... Uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to say, uh, we're going to add in another print line to ask, uh, actually we're just going to be a print. We're not going to add another line to it. We're going to say, enter a name. We're going to say, enter name. And then we're going to take in, we're going to use our scanner and say, so for names i will be equal to scanner dot next line all right and so what this is saying here is that for uh the names for for the names array at a certain index so we have three indexes so it's gonna go uh, with I equals zero as I was showing at the very beginning uh, where you can say that uh, print out uh, names uh, zero and if your let's say your your name uh, your string array names is uh, a comma B comma C if you put in a zero there where that I is it will give you A. If you put in a 1, it'll give you B. If you put in a 2, it'll give you C. And so essentially what we're doing here is we're saying, so as it thumbs through the length of the score, of uh, the array of scores, scores? This shouldn't be right. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. They're the same length, but we're going to say names here. Uh, simply because we're working with uh, names. <laughs> that's, that's, uh, that's me. Um, but it, it, like I said, it wouldn't matter because they're of the same length, but, uh, all that aside, we're going through here. And so it's going to start off. I is going to be equal to zero. And so that's going to be the first, uh, spot in the array. And we're going to take, uh, the next line of the, from the scanner and set that equal to that position, that initial position. Then the next thing that we're going to do is it's going to go through the for loop again. And now uh, after I has been added, had one added to it, it's going to go through again and it's going to say enter the name, enter another name. And then, but now we're going to be saving it to the next position after, uh, after the previous one. So we're going to go scanner, uh, that, and it's going to give us that, and that's going to be perfect for uh, getting our names. So, like, if I can make an example now and show you, um, like now, so it prints out all the stuff on the top, enter a name, uh, Andy. 
Enter a name, Joe. Enter a name, Bith. Why did I pick such a, let's say, uh, Ernie? There we go. All right. Now, all those names are now entered into that array, that array of strings called names. And that is the uh, basis part of that one. Uh, so we're going to go ahead here, make some more space for us, because the next thing that we're going to do is take that and add it down there, because we need that same thing. Or put that back in there. Flipboard. But this time we're gonna say instead of entering names one per line, we're gonna say enter scores. Oops. Enter scores. Uh, sorry, test scores. One score per line. Period. Okay. And so now that we've entered scores, we're going to add in another space here for padding. And then we're going to create another for loop again. And this one's going to be essentially the same as the last one, except instead of scanning this time for uh, text input, we're now scanning for integers, numbers. And so we're going to create another for loop here. And it's going to be the same thing. Integer i equals zero. Equals zero. Uh, while i is less than, this time we're going to say uh, scores dot length. We're going to add another one to i. And now... Another print statement, if I can do the right brackets. And this is once again going to say, uh, enter score for, and this is going to be a little bit more interesting because now we're going to use the names that we had from before. And so to index those names, to index that first name that we enter, we're going to say names I. And then as this goes through the length of scores, it's going to use up the names from earlier. And so then we're also going to add in. Let me just do that. Perfect. Um, we're going to do the same thing from earlier, except now instead of names, we're going to be doing it with scores. And we're going to say scores i, the index that you're on, is equal to scanner.next integer. Alright. And so now what we have. Now we have the same thing from before. And we're going to say uh, first name Andy, Joe, and Bob. Now, when it prompts you to enter a, uh, it's a little bit, or it doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> and so now, when it prompts you to enter a score, it'll give you the names that you used before. And because Andy's the first name that we entered, Andy's in the first position. And so, we're going to give Andy a 73. Or 75. We're going to give Joe 18, Bob 87. Doesn't matter. Because uh, we're not doing anything with it yet. And I'd like to add a space and a colon to the end of that. Because I forgot to do so. So we'll, we'll add on another portion to this print line. And we're going to say space, colon, space. That'll look good. Yes, it will. Okay, perfect. Um, all right. So that's the first thing. Now, next thing that we're going to do, I'm going to add in a little bit more uh, fluff. Put 
that in instead of just a, a single thing. Um, now we're going to want another print line statement that is now going to say you entered the following data. Couple more print. Uh, just one. Just one more print. And now here is the fun part. Um, so to uh, print out the data the way that we'd like it to, uh, what we need to do is set up our data being printed out so that it doesn't um, that it takes the number of characters entered in before and subtracts that so that the spacing is the same between all of them. And the way that we're going to do that is by uh, system dot print f. And for our first argument, we're going to have oh, in quotations. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Oh yeah, are you are you in uh <laughs> um ASU CIS three forty? Because uh that's that's what this is all based off of. That's my girlfriend's class and she doesn't understand anything and the directions really are trash. So uh I decided I'd help out and give some tutorials about everything. Um, how to do everything. Uh, so, uh, what are we doing here? <laughs> we're we're setting it up so that uh, when it prints out the data, it prints it out in a nice little neat format. Um, yeah, no, I I learned I learned a lot of Java in uh, high school high school and middle school and so it's like it's 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 really it's like it's fun for me it's terrible for her objects on classes you can work on later. I got a thing on objects on classes you can work on later I got an assignment right now that I barely understand uh no I'm just kind of going through it as I uh, as I do it yeah, no, no, it's so much fun when you understand it. It's like, I, I mean, it's literally like the the possibilities are endless with it. But yeah, okay, so adding in this little bit of code gives us uh, what fifteen characters that it'll get rid of in the middle, or depending on the string that's entered, and then. Uh, and then another percent, uh, give it 15, uh, depending on the string. And then, because we have two things here, we're going to say name, and we're going to say score. And we're going to end this like every other line of Java code you'd have ever seen. Originally discounted Java, but turns out it's still one. Yeah, no, it's... I, honestly, it's like... The thing about Java is that, like, it's so widely... Oop, God, what did I do? Okay, there we go. I just wanted to get rid of these tabs, sorry. Um, yeah, no, the thing about Java is that it, it's still so widely used that it's, like, it's totally worth it. And I mean, like, what, six, seven, eight years ago when I originally learned it, it's like, it was even more useful. It was more useful than, why do I have an arrays dot Java? Delete. Uh, that was weird. Um, okay. Oh, uh, what is it? Eclipse, Eclipse Indigo. It's what I used when I first started, and I honestly can't use anything else. It's uh, it's a thousand times better than NetBeans. There, I, I was helping other friends in uh, their Java classes previous semesters, and they were like, "Oh yeah, we're using NetBeans," and it's like, 
I I don't understand how you can stand using net beans. It's not the just Eclipse has so much more functionality to it. It makes it so much easier to go through everything and like understand. Um, it probably does have a dark mode. I've never used it, and this might be a, a an older version because I I don't know how long ago I put this on. But uh, yeah, to get back to this, uh... <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no, it, 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 packages in Eclipse are a lot easier. Like all this, this game programming from memory. This all, all these are like separate packages, and then. You can have uh, do any of these. These all just have code in them, I think. I don't think I have a package within a package here. But yeah, yeah, no, no, no. It just it makes packages so much easier to do that, and then all your codes are exactly where you want to see it, and all your little portions that are similar to each other are all together. But yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, essentially that just gives you. 15 characters, the minus in front, so, like, the difference between the minus being there and the minus not being there is that with the minus, it's taking it away from the, uh, fuck. The, the front, the right, the left, uh, Joe, Bob, Billy. Uh, and we'll enter some scores let's say uh five eight none of this matters because we're looking at this here so it'll the negative sign will take uh characters from in from i i don't know if that's technically in front or behind it'll <laughs> it from the from the starting from the front and going out this way let's say that let's say that it'll take out characters depending depending on uh, what was entered. So, like, for name, for example, it took out four characters and then added 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. I'm, I'm not trying to do the math right now. Um, and then score, it does it backwards. So it'll take score and it'll put it back that way. So, uh... Once again, go back here. And so we printed out that, and what we want to do is end up printing out our arrays. And so we're going to create another for loop, do, for loop to be able to do that. And so we're going to say, let's put that down there. Uh, usual for loop things. Integer i, zero or minus, depending on what button you press. And as long as it's less than, just use scores, scores length, add one to it. And uh, so we're gonna, to make this easier to print out, so like, like example, for example here, like we had name and score uh, we're going to set, because it, it keeps constantly changing, what we're going to do is we're going to set them equal to variables. So we're going to just right in here say string, let's call it x, is equal to uh, our name variable, name names array. And of course we want to index the one that we're on. And then again we're going to go through and say uh, integer y. And that's going to be our scores, if I can spell it, also at i. And so that's going to thumb through each of the arrays one by one, uh, name by name, score by score, so that we can print out, uh, using the same thing from before, print, print f, and print out, uh, use it once again using the same percent. Uh, negative 15 
S and percent uh, 15. And now because the type is different for scores, we're going to say uh, D. It's because it's not a string. That's basically it. <laughs> X and Y. And uh, so there we go. Now we're printing each of the individual uh, parts of the array out. And we're going to add another uh, spacing here for each time that it prints it out. And so now we go ahead and look at what we built so far. Uh, boom. So Jim, Bob, and Jim, Bob. Uh, we'll just arbitrary scores. Uh, yeah, let's do a three number score. That'll and that. Okay, so now, now with uh, the names and the scores. So some of these, Jim and Bob are the same number of characters, but Jim Bob is not. But the spacing between the numbers has not changed, and the same thing with the the numbers over here. The numbers are each different lengths, but because of the uh, code that we entered in between him, uh, specifying like that, then it adjusts it, just the spacing in between them so that you can print out everything and it all looks nice and neat. And I mean, you can play with this. I recommend that you play with this. Uh, 15 just kind of like whatever length of name you could possibly think of and put in there like for example if we if we run it again actually and we use something like a name that's more than 15 character like my name is more than 15 characters and my name is not and uh my boy bob over here God, it's such a ridiculous name. So he got 157, he got a 14, and let's say Bob gets a way too big number. Is that too big for an integer? That might be too big for an integer. <laughs> okay, uh, try it again. Uh, so this is much more than 15 characters. And this is not. And Bob will say 117, 118, and uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Put for string? Wait. What are you trying to say here? trying to say scanner dot what what <laughs> value of int over double anyway I mean if you don't in integer is basically just like if you don't need rounding zeros after well not not rounding if you don't need decimal places after it then you might as well just use an int uh because there's no point in using up extra spaces for having a point zero 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 that's all integers are just like the base like they're <laughs> they're well uh integers uh, and like just the base counting numbers one two three four five six all the way up through whatever the hell um, okay so let's just not try and break this this time and we'll just say a uh, uh, really long name and Bob and Jim and just give them normal numbers and okay so like here with uh, the really long name still puts in like because our we only have 15 spaces here if we go out 
oh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We're long past 15 spaces. And, I mean, honestly, because the name is so long, uh, it w there would be no chance to be able to put it. You'd have to make it uh, your name and score even further apart. And essentially here, so like because the space is so long and it goes past the 15 characters that we specified, I don't want to screw that up, uh, 50 characters that we specified, it puts the uh, number way out there. And for this scenario, 15 should be more than enough. I don't know anybody who has a name that's more than 15 characters long. I think. I'm not putting a putting a something over that. Um, so, uh, we've done that. Let me look at the arrays thing. Um, okay, so we printed that out all nicely. Now the next thing that we want to do is add a little bit more spacing in here. And what we're going to do is we're going to set up our extra credit. And so the first thing that we're going to do, what the hell, New Zealand? God, it's like Lord of the Rings or something. <laughs> I don't even know where to start with that. Like that's like. I don't even want to try. I can't. I'm not. I'm not gonna do it. So our once again, our two by two array, uh, extra credit, or not not necessarily two by two, but um. Oh my god! All right, fine. Taumatawaka tangi hanga kawa your Puka Peak. Automated your Puka Peak? Automate. Automate? Guarantee you I butchered that. It's just, I don't know. Puka Peak. Puka Peak. Puka Peak it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, uh, our our extra credit array. It's a it's not a two by two array. It's a two D array, uh, meaning that in addition to rows, there are also columns. So, uh, and with this project, we're going to initialize it in a very odd way. So, extra credit is equal to new integer and as I may or may not have said before uh, for a 2d array you need two separate arrays that go with it oh my god whales Wait, is whales actually spelt like whales? Whales the country, not whales the... It's Okay, it's W-A-L-E-S. I thought it was kind of different. Okay, yeah, 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 alright. The more you know. Rainbow pops up. Um, okay, so... Yeah. We, uh, so we initialize the first part of our extra credit variable because we uh, what we're going to do with this is we're going to say, okay, so for Harry, Sally, and blah, 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 uh, how many extra credit scores does each person have? And then it's going to ask us to enter in those scores as they go through. And so since we, we know exactly how many... Uh, people they're gonna be we know that it's gonna be three uh, we can enter three in for the uh, 
rows. And then we want to leave the columns open to however many extra credit scores they have. And so after adding a little bit more padding here, we're going to create a nested for loop. And so it's going to be for the integer i zero. Uh, while i is less than extra credit dot length i plus plus and then our next for loop inside of here integer call it j is equal to zero our integer j is going to be less than extra credit from the first index oops from the from the first index that we created uh based off of the length which is based off of the first uh first number that we put in here so that three so it's going to go through this three times or it's going to go through this first loop three times and then for each loop of that we're gonna say so where extra credit is uh that dot length Uh, we're going to add plus plus to J. And so we're going to start off here in this one. And we're going to add a little bit of spacing. And we're going to say print. Oops. And we're going to ask them... How many extra credit scores for a specific student? That's padding. Um, so how many extra credit scores for uh, the name of the student plus a question mark at the end? And so the name, the way that we're going to index the name of the student is by using our names array and indexing that per each whatever uh, number it's on for whatever the name is in the order of names. And then because we're asking them that, we're going to want to use our scanner again. And we're going to want to create another integer. Let's call it W for scanner.next int and we're going to take in that number so we're asking them how many extra credit scores does a specific student have and we're going to take that number and what we're going to do is now put it as so that that is the second index to our array of extra credit we're putting the second number, uh, the number of columns in the specific row of extra credit, depending on which row we're on, which depends on the student, essentially. Um, and we're going to do that by saying, let's move this down one, extra credit, not two X's, extra credit. Uh, depending on its row is equal to new int w. So, like I just said, this is saying that for the for the row uh, i for the row i whatever number we're on the column is going to be equal to this number. The array uh, the array inside of that first column, that sorry, the first row is going to be equal to the array W, or an array uh, of W size. Let's go with that. Yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're going to do that and 
add another print line statement here because then we're going to say uh, enter extra credit scores for plus the names for the specific student that we're asking the uh, score for. And that is it for this part of the for loop and next we're going to say okay so now that we're in the uh, now that we're going through the length of the specific row the length of the row we're gonna print out going to print out that we want uh, a score we want to we, we want it to ask uh, we want it to show us what score number we're putting it in for and so that's going to depend on the number that was put in so it's going to be score plus uh, uh, and in it's very important that you put this in parentheses or else it'll print out a one with it and that's not what you want to do uh j plus one because our j is starting at zero and so we have to make up for that that we as humans don't count at zero and we want to see the first thing that we're doing as uh one and then we're going to say uh, score one and we're just going to put a not a semicolon but a colon after that and actually, I don't think we want to. We don't want this to be a print line because this is where we're going to get in the take in the scanner input again. And so now we're going to index the specific uh, two by two array uh, that we're looking for. Extra credit. Uh, the same way as I explained earlier, but didn't show. Next int. So that's our that's our scanner, and so the position of this score. So the rows, uh, the first row is going to be uh, the the first row is going to be okay. What uh, array are we in now? And then the next row is going to be what score are we on now? The first okay, so let me rephrase that. The first ar the first array is going to be uh, what person are we on now? And so that's going to be I. So depending on the person, it's going to be a different row or a different uh, array. And then the next thing we're going to do is say, okay, well for that for that spe that specific person. We're going to have you be in the array of J. Or you're going to be in the length of J, which is going to go through the length of the array that is indexed in I. Getting all that camera guy? Maybe? Who knows? Okay. And uh, so in the end, we're going to want to take the average of all of these. And so... What we're going to end up doing is we're going to add in a count variable. So every time that we go through this and ask him for a score, we're going to want to add one to our count. And so we know that our count has gone up by one. And then we're also going to sum up our extra credit totals by saying, uh, using our extra credit total. Oops, total variable and setting that equal to extra credit the index array uh, the specific uh, score that was entered plus uh, extra credit total total all right so that's taking our individual scores that are added in and summing them up 
And then, so that's, boom, that's the end of this for loop, and this is the end of the other for loop. Let's put those together. And then we'll add in another uh, space here. And then we're going to create our average. And our average is going to be equal to the extra cre e x t r a yeah total divided by the count and so that's going to be our average and then we're going to go we're going to put in a couple of uh print statements here and this first one is going to say uh there were x count number oops the account number uh, extra credit credit scores so this is going to tell us how many extra credit scores there were total and then this next one is going to be just a uh, just a print that's gonna say going to tell us the average so we're going to say the extra credit average is and that's just going to be a print because this is also going to be a print f and because we only want to show two variables if we just left this as is using floats it prints out to i believe like seven seven decimal places but we don't need seven decimal places we only want to show two so we're gonna say percent dot oops percent dot two two not three and f and then we're gonna put in our average and so it's gonna print out the average to two decimal places uh, and then we're going to Close out our scanner, because that's the last thing that we have to do, and makes it very important that we have to do that. And boom. All right. That is the code. So we'll go ahead and test it out here uh, from the top. Make sure we don't have any bugs or anything. And we're going to enter our name. Matthew, uh, Elizabeth, and Mary. Mary has one R in it. And then it's going to ask us to enter test scores. And so we'll enter in an 89, a 95, 78. And then it shows us the data that we so nicely collected. And uh, clearly here we forgot a space after the four. Um, so we're not we're not going to worry about that fix that right now but we can go back and look at that later. Uh and so Matthew, he's got two scores. And his first extra credit score was a 9, his second extra credit score was an 8. Elizabeth didn't really uh didn't really want to do that much extra credit. She did a 1 and she did really terrible on it. She only had a 3. Um Mary, overachieving Mary, did four uh extra credit assignments and got a nine an eight an eight and a nine and so now it prints out here that there were seven extra credit scores total which i know is correct because uh there was two three four five six seven extra credit scores total between all the students and that extra credit average if you add up all of these in fact uh i can't show it because this is a uh, window that's being uh shown but um, if we add up eight, nine, uh, three nines, three eights, and a three, and divide that by the seven extra credit scores that we had, it ends up being a 7.71. Uh, well, I mean, there are more additional numbers past that, but for all intents and purposes, uh, we can round it down to that. And uh, so that is the whole program that's how to make the program how to read the how to how to understand uh arrays basically because the assignment that was uh shown to me 
goes through all of this, uh, but doesn't explain it that well. Especially the whole part of indexing arrays, uh, where you're, uh, where is that? In the in these two for loops here, where you're indexing arrays. So like your extra credit uh, i dot length. Um, you know how you're setting that index of like that first array value setting it equal to another array of the size of w which is the scanner that you just entered in like it doesn't really go into great detail as to how that exactly works or um what exactly you're supposed to do with that and that's why i wanted to make this video and help explain uh the process through how like indexing arrays actually works uh, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Uh, there are definitely more streams to come. Uh, more streams to come. More uh, videos to come. Follow me on uh, twitch.tv slash flyingtunafish. Uh, you can catch me there. Follow me. Uh, you'll get notified when I go live. And uh, you'll probably catch the next stream. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Do all the other things that YouTubers always ask you to do. And uh, Twitch streamers as well. <laughs> Thanks for watching.